Hello everybody, this is George with Melnix. In this video I would like to show you what is the easiest way and I guess the fastest way to remove a valve out of the head. Um, I've been doing another video and I had some people sending me some questions. Um, as you can see those valves, those springs are below the actually housing of the head. So if you try to use a C-clamp tool that looks like this, it will not work. Even if you change your adapter, once you put it underneath, there's no way you can press onto the spring of the valve because the, 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 the head, the housing is a lot higher than the valve. So if the valve was overhead, it would have been uh, possible to use this one because it has different attachments. It's a nice tool, but it will just not work on Honda. So on eBay, I picked up a tool. It has five different attachments for about 20 bucks. So you could pick any attachment you need. Uh, in my case, it's the middle attachment that works the best. And I'll show you how easily you can go ahead and remove uh, the valve, the spring, the retainers, without uh, messing with it too much. So you'll need a little magnet, and I'll show you. Just watch in about a minute. In one minute, I'll be able to remove the, the valve. Mm -hmm. And it's only 20 bucks. Um, Honda makes another tool that I've used, and this one seems like it's one of the easiest ones to use. And then you use your magnet to pull two, two retainers. That's it, I got two of my retainers, and all I'm gonna do right now is just release it. I'm gonna do a close up so you see it for yourself. For 20 bucks, you can't go wrong because Honda sells it, and I think it's made by Snap on for Honda um, for a J Series engine. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's around 400 bucks. So I just went ahead and, and removed the retainer. And this is my spring. And this is my valve right here. Um, it's very easy. And then to reinstall it, what's nice about this adapter, it has nice cutouts on each side. So when, when you compress the valve, the spring back, you can easily put those retainers back in um, and, and secure in your valve. And I'm gonna zoom in my camera and I'm gonna do another valve right next to it to show you how easy and quickly that, that's, that's done. Okay, watch me to do another valve. And uh, with the other tool that I show you, the C-clamp style, the one you have to push, um, if the, like I said, if the valves were over the head, it would have been very possible to use and to be very quickly. But for 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. Um, this one, like I said, I picked up on eBay, so just watch this. All right, I got it all adjusted. And like I said, I picked, I picked this attachment. If you don't, you know, if you, you can also use a little larger attachment. A little larger attachment would probably work better, but it's compressing it just as fine. You can see I compressed it pretty good. All I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna see if I could turn it for the camera, just to get those two retainers. There you go, there's four retainers on it for my other valve. But all I'm gonna do right now, just release it, and it's pretty easy. Okay, so as you can see, another valve is free. So I think this is the easiest way in Honda J Series engine to pull the valves out. And these are all bent. I'm gonna have to rebuild this head. So if you have any questions,
send us an email. Otherwise, thanks for watching. This was George with Melnick's Automotive.